Hello everybody, we're back in video games, back with The Last of Us Part 2 on GameSpot.com. And let me, uh, before we get going, if I sound a little stuffy, I am sick, but I have not gotten the coof, so nobody please come to my house and mercy me, alright? I am perfect, I am, I am not infected with the coof, I have allergies. They apparently are pretty bad considering the hurricanes come through, move something up this time of year that I'm apparently allergic to. And my head is just stopped up. It, it's amazing uh, what I'm going through at the moment. Not what I can say right here for The Last of Us Part 2. Okay, I can't say that's amazing. I can say they probably feel my pain right now, or at least a portion of it. Anyway, let's get going in here. GameSpot.com. The Last of Us 2 receives its first major discount. We're not going to call it The Last of Us Part 2. We're going to call it Angry Lesbian vs. Angry Tranny. For those of you that are on there. Anyway, Angry Lesbian vs. Angry Tranny released for PS4 in June. And if you've held, up, held off this long, you can snag it at a nice little discount. Uh, I want you to see what, they're, what they say here. Because this is it's amazing that they're trying so hard to soften the blow of this discount but their the mask slips okay that it, it gets out whether they want it to or not it, it just shows the desperation in this article marquee first first party games don't usually get a discount until long after the after release but ps4 users can now snag angry lesbian versus angry tranny at a great price thanks to its major markdown since launch you can buy angry tranny versus angry lesbian for fifty dollars from amazon the deal is also available through the best buy and gamestop if you're a power up rewards pro member you can get it for 45 dollars from gamestop today only okay think about this for a moment they admit in this article that marquee first party games don't usually get discounts until long after their release but this angry lesbian versus angry trainee is already getting a discount okay it has gotten a discount already it's not supposed to happen they don't normally get it let me explain to some let me explain to some people out there because I know I'm going to get people in the comments who say, oh, oh, this is just them trying to get more games sold. Uh, whatever your excuse is, let me explain to you something. In a capitalist society, in a capitalist system, there are two driving forces, supply and demand. Uh, if you have a large demand for something but a low supply, you jack the price up. If you have a large supply of something and low demand, you must lower the price to make money off of it or to at least move product. I've done put videos up and several other people have been putting videos up about how the la about how angry lesbian versus angry tranny has not been selling. There's stacks, literal stacks in just three Walmarts that I went to. Two of them had stacks of games down there. The only other games that were stacked was Minecraft, which is almost 10 years old now, and GTA 5, which is almost 7 years old. Those are the only two games that had extra stacks down there, and they were far cheaper than Angry Lesbian versus Angry Tranny is. All right? There are massive stacks of them in the cases. I talked to a dude at my local Walmart who said they're trying to stop the other shipments because they can't sell the game. They don't want it at the store because it's taking up space. They're trying to get rid of it. They can't they can't give it away apparently. They've only sold one copy. That was it at my local Walmart. The other Walmarts I'm pretty sure hadn't sold nothing because it looked like them they hadn't moved any product. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ghost of Tsushima has gone out there and just it's gone. Almost immediately. It is it is selling out. They got their second shipment in one week. They had almost sold completely out of Ghost of Tsushima. Okay? The demand for Angry Lesbian versus Angry Tranny does not meet the price requirement. There's too much supply and not enough demand. Okay? You're, you're trying to sell water to a group of people who have a well. 
Okay. It, there, there, there's no, you're not in a desert. You're in a tropical rainforest trying to sell freaking water. It doesn't work. They can go down to the river and get it. You're not going to make any money right now. You got to do something to the water. You got to cook it in a tea or something. Anyway, it is un it's unclear how long this deal will last. So you'll want to order as soon as possible if you're interested. Or if you want, you could just wait. An Angry Lesbian versus Angry Tranny will go on even cheaper sale. Probably down to about 30 bucks, 20 bucks if you're lucky. If you want it. I mean, that's just... At this point, I don't think riders would even steal it. I think one guy was saying rioters were, he had proof that rioters weren't stealing it. I'd love to see the video. Of, I, I'd love to have people go to like a Walmart and, and go in there and just go, Hey, look, this is what we found after a riot in Portland when they raided a Walmart and see just stacks of the last of us part two, just sitting there and be like, what, what more do we have to get? Oh yeah, I forgot. I got to call it angry lesbian versus angry tranny. <coughs> I messed up on my own deal. Anyway. All retailers offer free shipping because they're, they they got to give you as many incentives to buy this as possible and can arrive by the end of the week. In other words, they're going to give you almost free, almost a priority shipping to an extent. In other words, if you buy it on Amazon or any retailer, you're not only going to get it for a, for a good price, you're going to get free shipping and they're going to guarantee, they're going to try and get it to you by the end of a week. Okay, that, that is just insane in my opinion. Though you'll need Prime for two-day shipping if you're buying from Amazon. So free Prime two-day shipping, basically, for this game on top of a discount. Because please, please, we want you to buy the Angry Lesbian versus Angry Tranny game. We, we know we screwed up on it. We want you to buy it so bad. We're, we're giving you everything you could ask for. Well, everything but a good game. Everything but a good story. Everything but Joel. Die. I mean, Joel doesn't have to live, in my opinion. I think most people have said they figured he was going to die anyway. They would have loved to have him, you know, die with honor. Not die like a bitch, like they did on, uh, like they did on Angry Lesbian versus Angry Tranny. But, I mean, here we go. Best Buy and GameStop also offer in-store pickup if you'd rather grab it in person. <clears throat> I mean, who, who who's going to do that? Who's going to do that? Who is sitting there right now? You're telling me that all the fans right now have been waiting to buy this game for 50 bucks instead of 60? Why did they go out and buy it for 60? Lots of people bought Ghost of Tsushima for 60 bucks. Hell, if I broke mine right now, I'd go buy it for 60 bucks. Right now, I'd buy it for 70 It's such a good game. Anywho, you see here, it's it's $50 was 60 This is on Amazon, Best Buy. But let's, let's go in here, because this is pretty deceptive on how they describe the game. It's really deceptive. They're really trying hard to sell it, but not let you know about the horrible stuff they have. And listen to this. The story from the first game continues in... Angry Lesbian versus Angry Tranny. As we follow Ellie and her partner Dina on their hunt to find a group of survivors that have wronged them. Problem there. False advertising. If I recall from the spoilers that I've read and uh, from the stuff I've read about the game and how it goes, I don't think Dana goes with you. I think she stays back at the farm and eventually leaves Ellie. Secondly, the survivors did not wrong Ellie. Abby wronged Ellie. The survivors just kind of stood around and watched. Okay? <clears throat> Ellie ends up killing all of them but Abby. Okay? So, also, Abby takes a nine iron to Joel and kills him. Alright? So, I mean, we're not talking... No, you'll notice in this, in this description, there will be no mention of Joel. Anywhere. The, the character you played at it, as in The Last of Us, you will not hear anything about Joel. They don't mention Joel at all. They are trying to get you to not find... They're trying to find some fan out there that has not seen the leaks. That has not seen the uh, playthroughs where Joel gets nine ironed in the skull and his skull gets caved in. They don't want people to find out about this because they know that's a deal breaker. There's no mention of Joel in this article at all. 
it's a dark story about revenge and anger, but it's also about companionship and what we do for those we love. The combat is also very tense and quite violent, so if you're into stealth action, you'll likely enjoy it. No Joel? Where's Joel? It's like it's like when it's it's like the kid he's sitting in there and he goes, Dad? And the dad comes in after he's taken the dog out and put a bullet in its head. Dad, where's Joel? Joel's gone. But where? Why'd he go? Joel's gone, son. But dad, where did Joel go? Joel's gone bye bye. They don't want to talk about where Joel went. They don't even want to mention Joel. Okay, let's keep going because they still don't mention Joel. We scored the game 8 out of 10 in our Angry Lesbian versus Angry Tranny review. Thanks to most, thanks in most part to the complicated, flawed characters and impactful story. Still no Joel. In part 2, I wanted nothing to do with Ellie's bad decisions. Wow, that, that's, that's pretty interesting. I want you to listen to how they how they mention this and tell me what words are missing that would make you want to t- tell me from the descriptors if you'd want to listen if you want to play this game. So I'm gonna read it clean through. Reviews ca- editor Kaylee pa- Plaguey. There's no oh god I'm the monster moment, just profound sadness about all the pain she's caused. Without Abby, none of that works. Abby is a fantastic character because Abby's higher on the progressive stack than Ellie is in her own right. And the way the game pits her against Ellie is what makes the story powerful. It's tragic, heartbreaking exploration of the consequences of the first game, even if not all of your actions here have real consequences. It's not fun. It's not exciting. It's not tense or thrilling. It's sad. It's painful. It's tragic. It's heartbreaking. And we're not going to mention Joel because we want you to buy the game. Like what? What do you have to offer here? It's what is it? The, uh, just some guy called it. He said it's depression. The game. That's what this is. It's depression. The game. Okay. It is. It is an angry lesbian pissed off at an angry tranny who nine ironed angry lesbians surrogate father. But we're not going to talk about Joel. Not at all. Because if you fought, because they've realized that Naughty Dog, I promise you, Naughty Dog has realized, and they're probably telling these companies not to mention Joel at all. They probably put a full gag on anything of Joel mentioned, because they know that Joel dying was the deal breaker. This means that they understand now what went wrong, and they could come out and apologize for it, but they're not. But like I said, what more do you want to know about? It is a sad, tragic. Painful, heartbreaking game. Nothing about this is something I want to play. I want action. I want thrilling. I want tension. I want to feel afraid for the character, but then at the very end feel elated that they actually got somewhere. You don't get that from this game. You don't get enjoyment. That's the problem. Unless you enjoy being miserable... Unless you enjoy being hurt, unless you enjoy just sitting there and crying all day long with a tub of ice cream while your 900 cats console you because your boyfriend didn't, because the man that you thought was you were going to marry ended up going off with a hotter chick, there's no reason to buy this game. Go buy Ghost of Tsushima, folks. It's way better. It has tragedy and heartbreak, but it's fun. It's exciting. And in the end, the final bo- I finally beat the game, the final boss battle. Holy shit. It's like a freaking action movie. You feel like a move you feel like you are some sort of kung fu fighter in an old-fashioned kung fu movie. And right, the last the last fight between you and the main boss, it goes from 
60, and then just keeps going to about 230. It starts hard and it ends ridiculous. Like when you get done, you're breathing heavy afterward because you're you're du- dealing with so much shit. Come from, this guy plays dirty. He plays hard. He plays dirty. He is. He's just as deadly as you are, but he's just as conniving as you are. And they did a very good job on that fight. Anyway, I'm the Last Raider. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video uh, if you want. Also, remember to hit the bell for notification if you're new to the channel. And as always, stay safe, stay frosty. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye now.